when deciding to put a child onto CPAP, there's a series of signs and symptoms that we look for. All of them have got something to do with breathing and can be very easily recognized. When examining a baby who you think may be a candidate for CPAP, first go through the ABC. After ensuring that the airway is not blocked and that the baby is breathing, then look for signs of respiratory distress. First of all, here is a premature baby who is not struggling to breathe. So this is how they should look. Babies with respiratory distress look very different. Are there any recessions visible on the chest as the baby breathes? There are different types of recessions, so they will not always look the same. This is an example of severe subcostal and intercostal recessions. This baby also has subcostal and intercostal recessions, affecting the area below and between the ribs, but they are less severe. This baby is breathing very fast and irregularly. He also has episodes of apnea when he stops breathing. This baby has seesaw breathing. He is using the abdominal muscles to breathe. Nasal flaring is another obvious sign of distress. Finally, is the baby grunting? After checking breathing, go on to check the circulation. If the pulse is very fast, this is also likely to mean the baby is struggling to circulate enough oxygen and might need help. Then, check the temperature gradient and the capillary refill time. If the arms and legs are cold, or if the capillary refill time is slower than two seconds, then the baby is really struggling to get oxygen to the limbs and is in urgent need of support. Finally, have a look at the baby's collar. This baby has a good collar. What you are looking for are any signs of cyanosis or of the extremities turning a slightly blue. If you do see any signs of distress, then the baby might be a candidate for CPAP. To decide if they will benefit, you should then go on to measure their respiratory rate. Start the timer and let it run for a minute. Counting the number of times the chest goes up and down. After 60 seconds, the timer will beep. That is your respiratory rate. If it is faster than 60 breaths a minute, then the baby might be a candidate for CPAP. A second criteria is to check the oxygen saturation. This is done with a pulse oximeter. To measure, put the probe on the fingers or toes of the baby. To get an accurate measurement, you may need to adjust this a few times until you get a continuous wave. should be on one line. This is what a good waveform should look like. 158. This, on the other hand, is a bad waveform. If your reading looks anything like this, then you need to keep adjusting until you get a good waveform. If the saturation is below 90%, then, once again, the baby might be a candidate for CPAP. 